Hello and welcome back to Crypto Lion. Here you can find all the updates about the crypto market. You can also acquaint yourself with the histories as well as projections for Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies on this channel. All you have to do now is subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications. That way we'll always notify you as soon as we have a new video uploaded on the channel. In this video we want to discuss Bitcoin's movement to $100,000 and when exactly this is expected. Bitcoin's bullish run late last year and early this year is amazing to watch, setting a new all-time high record at around 42,000. There are a lot of speculations that the correction will be as great as well. However, Bitcoin started trading at around 35,000 in January, fluctuating up and down like the typical volatile market that it is. Recently, we've noticed another surge. When do you think the next bull run that'll take Bitcoin to 100,000 is going to happen? Well, let's consider some notable predictions and analysis. VOA News reported that Brian Estes said last year that Bitcoin going from 18,000 to 100,000 is very possible. Brian Estes is chief investment officer at Off the Chain Capital. It's a hedge fund, a group of investors who take financial risks together in order to try to earn a lot of money. Estes noted that he's seen Bitcoin go up 10 times, 20 times, 30 times in a year. So going up just five times is not a big deal. Estes predicts Bitcoin could hit between 100,000 and 288,000 dollars by the end of 2021. Let's consider some more predictions. Tom Fitzpatrick, an expert in international banking group City, said in a note last week that Bitcoin could climb as high as $318,000 by the end of 2021. Fitzpatrick said the rise could come because of the currency's limited supply, ease of movement across borders, and unclear ownership. However, those numbers don't make sense to Toronto-based Kevin Weir, an independent trader. He says he does not expect such huge gains for Bitcoin. He noted that it's an ordinary mania an extreme excitement or desire for something that is usually shared by many people. However, he admitted no one really has a clear idea about how high Bitcoin will go. Bitcoin relies on so-called mining computers that approve or confirm groups of transactions. The computers compete to solve mathematical puzzles every 10 minutes. The first to solve the puzzle and clear the transaction is rewarded new Bitcoins. Bitcoin's technology was designed to cut the reward for miners in half every four years. The idea behind the move was to reduce inflation. In May 2020, Bitcoin went through a third halving, which reduced the rate at which new coins are created. This, in turn, reduced supply. That halving started Bitcoin's renewed growth. VOA News also reported that in a letter to investors, hedge fund Pantera Capital said Square's Cash App and PayPal have been buying all new Bitcoins and these buys have caused a Bitcoin shortage. Cash App and PayPal recently launched a cryptocurrency service to its more than 300 million users. Also worthy of discussion is the Whale Index, measuring accounts holding at least 1,000 Bitcoins. This index is at an all-time high. This was reported by Phil Bonello, research director at digital asset manager Grayscale. Leonard Neo is head of research at Stack Funds. He says with the entry of Square and PayPal, he expects a stronger increase in demand than in 2017. Neo predicts Bitcoin will reach $60,000 to $80,000 by the end of 2021. Tempest Inc. currency trader Juan Perez does not understand and is even shocked by all the big predictions. Perez said an estimate that Bitcoin would reach $100,000 next year would be a prediction about the collapse of the worldwide financial system. He said that governments around the world won't let that happen. But is he right? Cointelegraph.com reports that the American megabank JP Morgan Chase's strategy team, led by Nikolaus Panigirtzoglu, claimed that a theoretical target of $146,000 plus could be sustainable for Bitcoin by the end of 2021, pushing the narrative that the digital currency seems to be a prime candidate for replacing gold as a long-term store of value especially for a budding base of younger, more tech-savvy investors. Similarly, new data released by Pantera Capital, an investment firm and hedge fund, reiterates JP Morgan's sentiments surrounding Bitcoin, suggesting that its price action is closely following the stock-to-flow model, thus reaffirming its faith in the digital asset hitting the 115,000 mark by August 1st. The stock-to-flow model that was developed by Plan B looks at Bitcoin halving events that take place roughly every four years and how they play a direct role in spurring the currency's value roughly six months after each cycle. In this regard, one can see that following each of the previous three halvings, Bitcoin has shown remarkable growth. For example, after the May 2020 halving, the price of one Bitcoin rested at 8,000, only to shoot past 15,000 after exactly six months. Ray Feisenbank also employed the stock-to-flow model in a recent report to ascertain where Bitcoin might be headed in the near future. According to the company's research team, price targets beyond the $100,000 mark or even $1 million may be possible to achieve. The fact is, now that the value has more than tripled in 2020 and momentum remains strong, future further gains should not surprise us according to the study. 
Other prominent players from the realm of traditional finance who have projected big things for Bitcoin in the short term include individuals such as Andy Yi, public policy director for Greater China at cross-border payments provider Visa, who believes that this rally is different from the one in 2017, as it marks a shift from high speculative, non-functioning tokens toward Bitcoin and Ether. Providing a more technical breakdown as to why institutions are betting big on Bitcoin, JP Thierryot, CEO of asset trading platform Uphold, told Cointelegraph that unlike traditional dollar debasement havens like gold and other commodities, Bitcoin has zero elasticity on the supply side. He highlighted that if or when the price of gold reaches 3000 marginal gold mines will once again fire up, with the same dynamic being applicable with oil and every other non-math-based unit of account. He believes that the unique lack of supply-side elasticity means that price-wise, Bitcoin will respond more precipitously than things like gold to the exact same drivers. He further added that Bitcoin is in the early stages of its rollout, as it metamorphosizes from fringe curiosity to a must-have in portfolios, it's pretty logical to assume that inflows will grow. He said if he was a bookie, he would predict over under 85,000 for December 31st, 2021. The ever-increasing institutional demand seems to be changing the digital asset market, which in turn is driving many banks to make seemingly outlandish price predictions in relation to Bitcoin. For instance, more funds are now looking to enter the crypto game, and recently, American firm Osprey Funds announced that it will be launching its over-the-counter crypto solution, Osprey Bitcoin Trust, which will likely rival Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. The market sentiment is also looking like a factor that can propel the price. When looking at the market sentiment around Bitcoin, the digital currency is increasingly showing correlations with the core functions traditionally afforded by traditional fiat currencies for their users. That is, it's become a unit of account, a standard of deferred payments, and lastly, a tangible long-term store of value. Also, over the course of 2020, an increasing number of e-commerce platforms added support for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as a method of transaction to pay for goods and services. PayPal, for example, a company that boasts a strong merchant base, now allows users to buy, sell, and store cryptocurrencies via its platform. On the subject, Paolo Arduino, chief technology officer of crypto exchange Bitfinex, told Cointelegraph that consumer sentiment around Bitcoin is overwhelmingly bullish right now, and that people who are celebrating the rise of various altcoins and other off-chain solutions owe their success to the flagship crypto, adding that the king of crypto is the base layer for an emerging alternative financial system. He said that Bitcoin is providing a solid foundation for a staggering array of projects, some of which will fundamentally change the nature of money by the end of the decade. The Ariot, the Uphold CEO, mentioned earlier that he believes that the sentiment driving Bitcoin is a result of previously unseen levels of currency debasement generated by the monetary response to COVID-19. Beyond retail speculation, he believes corporations are looking to hedge their fiat exposure, evidently seeing some relative advantages of Bitcoin over traditional havens like gold, and subsequently jumping in. He added that the early jumpers have been handsomely rewarded, and so the trend is likely to continue. Let's take a look at the chart. In this chart, we can see the Bitcoin price is enclosed in a channel. The price has been to the top of the channel once, as is visible in this chart, and is just playing around the base of the channel. Also noticeable on the chart is the retracement calculation. This prediction has been done since 2018, and there's expectation that the price is going to go up as far as 100,000 in the nearest future, around 2021. Maybe the coronavirus and all may be bad for this prediction, but of course, Bitcoin handled the pandemic in a very good way, and we're right back on a bullish run, which could fulfill this prediction. Of course, it's best that you do your own research before you assume a position on the Bitcoin market, or before you invest. Also, it's advised that you invest with money that you've set aside for this purpose, and not money that you need to take care of yourself, because Bitcoin is very volatile, and one can lose all their money. We're here to keep you informed about news and predictions. Your personal research is very important as well. Please don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Good luck and happy investing.